I like that there's two sides to it. There's a bit of an experience there. Mm -hmm. You can't just press play. You know, records, there's two sides to it. And you can, you can find the groove. Like, you can look and, and place the song. Play, 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 play that. If I go back to when I was a kid, the first record that I handed was on vinyl. It was a record by my father's record company. It was a 45, uh, and it was Detroit, Michigan, and it was yellow with the label on it. It was black, and it was really yeah. cool, you know, and I was really excited. Uh, but I didn't know how much significance that it was until... Uh, probably within the last five years because Kid Rock recorded that single. Many presses working at the same time turn out many records together to satisfy the music-hungry thousands. The edge of the record is carefully polished. After this is finished comes a listening test when the record is actually played for expert ears. You think vinyl will will outlast the time? Do you think vinyl will outlast? I mean, I oh, think yeah. they're definitely going to outlast CDs, yeah, but even um, the next iteration of MP3s, whatever that's going to be. I, I think it will. Yeah. I say it never it never really died. A lot of people thought like, whoa, they don't they don't make records. I'm like, they've always made records. They've been making records for a hundred years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, no, I don't think it'll ever go away.